Hi folks, Mike here from Random Acts of Cooking. <clears throat> I'm going to try something new for me anyway. Uh, I found this recipe in a Fry's grocery store flyer. They call it Full Pockets. It's kind of like a chicken wrap. Uh, you use some chicken, bacon, a ranch dressing, and some crescent rolls to make this. Uh, but what I'm going to do is change it up a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit of cheap Parmesan cheese in there. I'm using Parmesan because it won't melt and be real runny like, uh, you know, Swiss or uh, cheddar cheese, uh, yeah, cheddar or something like that. So anyway, that's what we're using. I have actually not a rotisserie chicken. This is a one chicken thigh, boneless skinless chicken thigh that we uh, cooked out on the smoker a couple of days ago. This is the last one left over. Uh, seasoned with the It's Incredible and so it's got a smoky flavor and a really good seasoning flavor to this chicken thighs. Uh, so I got one of those and I'm just going to put in about oh, a couple of tablespoons of cheddar cheese. And I have here uh, about four slices of bacon pre-cooked, uh, drained and kind of crumbled that I just did this this morning. So the four pieces of crumbled bacon go in there. And now all we're going to mix in is some ranch dressing. And we don't have ranch light because that's all we eat now. But i got to see how much. Okay, it says one third of a cup. I'm doing a half a recipe. This is only a half a recipe. So I'm going to do one half of one third cup. I have no idea how much that is. So let's just put it in. I think that's maybe about four tablespoons or something like that, but you don't want this really running. <clears throat> you want it to just get mixed up. Now I gotta find a spoon. Okay, just enough of the ranch dressing to kind of hold the stuff together. Uh, not quite enough yet. Okay, I'm gonna put in just one more little squirt. That's about all we have in any way. Okay, that'll do it. I don't know how much that was. Uh, probably a, a third of a cup. I don't know. I didn't measure. Just get it like this. Like I said, just enough to mix it up in there. Not real soupy. Let's call that it. All right. Next step, I'm going to get the crescent rolls open, so I'll be right back. Okay, the way I believe we're supposed to do this, there's eight crescent rolls. So I'm going to use two to make this little rectangle and kind of pinch the edge together. This is where the little cut is to make it a triangle shape. But that's what I'm going to do. We're going to do that. And it's just spread on a little bit of this mixture here. And now I believe I'm supposed to put another one on top of it. Let's just make sure it's fill up the end there. So there's one of them. And here's two of them. You know, I might be making these kind of big, but because uh, I think I'm only get, going to get two out of here. So we'll pinch that together. The instructions weren't very clear on this, but uh, we'll see what we can end up with here. So now we'll just get these edges folded up, pinched together. There's one. I think I'm only going to get two out of this. Oh, these cans are just to uh, keep the paper from rolling up on me. Alright, a couple more here. You know, since the uh, the whole recipe calls, it says you should, for two cans of uh, crescent rolls, you should get eight of these. Uh, I'm gonna, So I figure for half a recipe, I'd get four, but I don't think I'm doing the rolls right. Let me get that out of it. I think I'm going to do this one a little bit different and just put some in the middle and then see if I can fold or stretch the edges around to this to make a little round thingy. Make sure it's pinched together where it's supposed to be. It's probably going to blow apart cooking them, but yeah, this is going to experiment. Alright, I'm going to try the other one the same way. So we can get at least three. And maybe next time, if I do it again, I'll do them all the, the, the hopefully proper way to get the whole quantity out of it. Alright, a little chicken mix. 
All right, that's all I'm going to do. And if I wasn't so lazy, I'd make my own dough. So I wouldn't have to worry about these crescent roll thingies. All right, well, we got three, sort of. We'll just uh, get the oven warmed up. I'm going to use the Kasori uh, air fryer slash oven. And i got to preheat to 400, and these are going to bake for 15 to 20 minutes. So now I'm going to get the oven warmed up. Okay, we have the Kasori oven preheated to 400. I've got it, well, I'm going to set it at 15 minutes anyway. And we'll get the uh, sheet in there to start baking, and we'll see how that turns out in about 15 minutes. Well, uh, the time kind of got away from me, and I was not paying attention. Probably should have taken these out after just uh, maybe a few minutes sooner. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're well done, uh, but they didn't blow up as much as I thought they would. Bottoms didn't get really burnt. Let's just say this is the extra toasty version. I gotta let them cool down for a little bit, then we'll cut into it and take a bite. Okay, hope, hopefully it's cooled down enough. I decided to use the, the bigger one for the taste test. They're still a little bit warm. I don't know if it's going to be too hot, but let's just cut into the middle here. So our croissant is supposed to be kind of a flaky crust. And if I quit it, I can't remember. You can see it is, it is a flaky crust. Uh, there's a, still a little bit of steam coming off, but I'm going to try to take a bite and see what it tastes like. You know, this is pretty good. I, I like the filling. Uh, the, the crust, well, it's just refrigerator crust. Uh, kind of flaky still, not too overdone, but I should have taken it out maybe about two, three minutes sooner from that little, from that little uh, toaster oven. One more bite, pretty good. Okay, it's not as good as I think as a Costco chicken bake, but this is still pretty good. Like I said, I like the filling. I'm not real crazy about the crust. If I do these again, I will make my own bread crust uh, out of maybe a pizza dough recipe, but filling's pretty good. Bacon, chicken, I still got a smoky flavor to the chicken, uh, the Parmesan cheese, and ranch dressing. All right, this works. Works for me. Thanks, folks. Next time.